Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. So, I've been kind of cleaning and organizing again uh, some of my items here. I kind of have them in order and so I thought this is kind of like more high-tech mix kind of. So that kind of makes sense. This kind of, like I went by the conveyor belt. I mean these are the plates anyways, but iron plates and then you have reinforced iron plates. And then you have the steel beams. And then over here you got the uh, you know the iron rods, and then you have the encased industrial beams. I know those don't quite fit in there, but sometimes I feel like the steel pipes are here. Actually, honestly, these two probably should be switched, but it works. Um, and then over here I got just these guys, and then over here I got my wires, more of the little finder wire screws, concrete, concrete. And then obviously this is our, our special, you know, organic drawer. This is the plants. Uh, over here is just like the random rocks, which well, a lot of those don't matter anymore. I could probably get rid of them. Uh, this is my mycelia and the silica stuff. And then over here is just my random plant stuff, which uh, those ones should be probably going over here. And then over here I got the biofuel, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I just wanted uh, I just wanted to organize it really. It was just getting to the point where you know we needed some organization, and uh, that was honestly what I was looking for and what I worked on. So our big task today is to work on computers. And now I'll have to do some pauses from time to time because if it, I don't want to over annoy you guys, um, one thing is we're eating plastic like crazy. And I mean, if we check this out, I forgot actually to overclock this, so I just overclocked this over here. Which I still think it would be underclocked. I'm not sure there. I see a lot of yellow, so I'm guessing there's some underclocking going on. Uh, now these probably are stacking up a bit too. No, it hit yellow too. Yeah, that doesn't look good. So I think right now, funny enough, our issue is this foil here. So if this starts catching up, we'll be fine. But I'm not sure if it is catching up. 79. Yeah, it's slowly catching up on here. But then this is, I guess, not stacking. Oh no, this is. I think the first three get stacked, and then these two would be... Oh, no, this one's good. Okay, so it's actually plastic. Why is plastic so slow? Oh, my goodness. I thought plastic was full here because I was paying attention to the end of the conveyor belt. And uh, if I go like this, I'm not ruining that part, right? There you go. I was getting thrown over thinking, oh, it was doing well because of this side of things, but it's actually doing bad. Uh, so yeah, oil basically is our, our shortcoming here. But yeah, those are going pretty good. Oil is something we need to work on today. So uh, we're going to speed that up and uh, start cranking that up. We might have to do some work over there and uh, clean it up. How's our power? Because I, I grabbed a bunch of materials while doing this. So I, I didn't grab everything. But oh yeah, look at that. 1.6 megawatts. Yeah, we would be uh, breaking and tripping the thing over and over and over right now. We would be crying the blues. And some of the main factories aren't even running right now, like some of the bigger ones. So, um, yeah. Anyways, this guy got into the, the worst area to be here. But anyways... Uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, I, oh, and I made a bunch of ammo. I did it on hand. I was like, oh, I'm going to watch some, uh, I was eating and watching something, so I, I put my phone on my space bar, and I was just, like, handcrafting a bunch of uh, ammo for the rifle. Don't have any on me. My inventory is actually very full right now, mostly because I'm getting ready to just work on this stuff, honestly. So I was like, oh, I'll keep my inventory kind of cleaned up right now. So, uh, right off the bat, I mean plastic. I mean, this is rubber, this is plastic. Clearly, our plastic isn't keeping up to what I would like. So if I check this out just for fun, obviously I can see that it requires 30 crude oil and it outputs uh, 20 plastic at a time. So we could increase this as long as it's it's scaling correctly as in it's not, you know, costing us, you know, 80 parts and gives us 50 or whatever as long as it, it's doing it that way. So it should go 20 and 60 if I bring it to 200, right? So... 20 and uh yeah there you go 60 and 40 there you go so that's fine that's that's good so 
I could overclock that more and bring that to 250. Sure, why not? So that should do, would that be 50? Yeah, so this can do 50 now, which that's a huge uh, jump. So I don't mind doing it for stuff like this. Long run, I probably should make more of these for power efficiency. But now that we got, you know, a kick up, uh, kick ass power system, I actually just want to use up some of the power. And this uses a lot of power, 30 to 130 megawatts. So we're using literally an extra uh, 100 megawatts just to increase that. So that's 200 megawatts just right there for two of them. That's uh, that's a bit intense, my friends. That is a bit intense. Uh, but yeah, that'll look at the the plastic output now. So that's that's flowing awesomely. So we went to from uh, 40, I guess, to 120. So that that's night and day difference there. That'll help quite a bit. But we'll still probably need to do more here. Uh, let me get some ammo. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah, so here's the, uh, I wanted to show you the ammo. Yeah, I was being a little uh, serious on my ammo here. Uh, I wanted to, you know, have enough here and not have to, do, you know, play around with this stuff as much. So I was like, eh, you know what, maybe we'll uh, be a little more, uh, you know, you know, make sure we get a little extra ammo in there. And that's what I did. So I just want to let you know why I have so much ammo and it was more on a, uh, might as well, you know, do that, so... Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to head to the uh, the oil base, and then we'll be back in a minute. Uh, I thought I'd get some extra ammo just in case if we come some creatures there, might as well kill them. But uh, I'll meet you back at our oil because we're going to have to increase the production. Actually, we'll meet back over here for a minute. Okay, so I wanted to see the math on this, ignoring these two, though I'll increase these probably too, or even change them to plastic and move them to a different spot. So these require 75, 150 oil each at max, so basically 300. So both of these would be able to use the full capacity of an overclocked system. Uh, remember we have, I think, what was it, 150? No, the math was a bit different. No, maybe it was something like that, but we'll, we'll double check and... Uh, We'll see what we have. Okay, we're here, my friends. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to increase this easily to see which one's running, right? So it's like, that's not running. The, uh, this one's not running. I know which one it is, but it's like, okay, this one's running, and that's the one you want to, of course, deal with. Uh, so two of these, that's 120, right? This is 120, I thought. Okay, so it's all running on just the one then, I guess? Yeah, didn't we merge two of these or something? Wasn't there like two that were merged? For some reason, I thought maybe that was it, but I guess not. Oh, this is the two merged ones. And these were 60s, right? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, this one's running great. Um, you know, it does 120, so if we go ahead and just overclock that a bit here. Uh, I don't know if we even need to get to max or... Yeah, max, there you go, 300, so that's it. Now that produces 300. Uh, eats a lot of power now. 173. That's from 40. So, <laughs> holy crap! That's 133. Am I, I getting that right? That's a lot. You could see the. You know, you're gonna use a lot of power doing this. And this is, you know, when it comes to you know something like grabbing oil from the ground or grabbing a resource from a node, like you're not actually mining. Overclocking, it's not so bad. When you overclock the refineries themselves. If you have the power and doing it for fun, like I'm doing, like right now, sure. In theory, you should probably be going over there and setting up, you know, a ton more refineries, which we're going to do anyways. Um, but uh, right now, I thought this was just a good way of kind of boosting this up. And uh, I like it, honestly. It's kind of fun just watching it boost up there. But yeah, that's a lot of power. I think what I'll do is I'll keep the other ones at bay for now, uh, just so that we don't trigger, because everything running at once could end up triggering something nasty, and I just don't want to end up hitting that. I mean, we have a good buffer now, but I just don't want to get too careless. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll leave them for now. But, uh, yeah, is there anything to shoot out here? I came all the way here for fun, and I don't even see anything to shoot around here. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, it's just one of those boring guys. Those guys already took too much to shoot. I don't want to waste it now. Oh, we don't kill one of these. We want to actually tame one of these guys eventually. Hi, hey, little dude. Bye, little dude. I just wanted to come out here and kill something. I'm surprised there's no mobs around here. I mean, oh, here we go. There's a family here. That's exactly what we're looking for. Hey, in photo mode, can you shoot? I don't think you can shoot in photo mode. Can you? No. <laughs> of course it does that, right? Do those guys always take more hits, or did I miss some of those, maybe?
There might be a bit of a... There might be a slight... I don't know if there's a... Like, you know how there's not, like, a, you know, dead center? Maybe there's no dead center on this. It kind of moves a bit. I don't I don't know for sure, but it doesn't matter. You know, we, we kicked their ass just fine, and I really should make an automated setup for this because it's a little more complicated making these anyways compared to a lot of other things in this game. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd go around and shoot something, but, you know, that might be good enough. Let me climb up here for a minute, see if there's something to shoot, and then... Uh, We'll meet back at the base here. Oh, here's this guy. Is that a big one? Oh, yeah. That's what I want to shoot. So these guys, as we know, are really painful normally. Oh, I don't need a leg badly right now. Oh, yeah. We got him. He was... I could have taken him out even sooner, to be honest, but... I hate spiders. As we know. I don't like how I hear the noise like underground or above me or something like I can hear him but I can't see them it's kind of frightening to be honest <laughs> it's like I don't like it hopefully they don't have a big spider though I would like to hunt and kill a big spider I also just don't want to do that oh here's this guy Oh, that's a big spider. What did I just say I didn't want to do? Hopefully he doesn't come chasing me because that would be game over, I think. I love this rifle. It's actually really awesome to play with. You know I'm not set up for combat anyways because, like, I'd come out here with way more weaponry. Or ammo, or I should say, even. What happened to the big one that was scary as hell? I would like to tempt fate with the big one. <laughs> we might have lucked out there. Darn it. I really wanted to attempt my fate against the big one. That looks like it's a secret. I think those were one shot. Those were, these blow up even... This works better with this gun. I feel like they saw another one. Hmm. Oh, that's the carcass? Okay. I was like, what is that? I still want to attempt that spider, but I don't want to die. But I mean, come on, that spider was kind of huge and scary. Where the hell does a creepy ass big spider even go? Unless he's stuck in the wall and I just walk by him like five times in a row or something. Now, that'd be actually more creepy, I think. Probably like fell through the map somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's not around. Okay. Well, we'll head back, guys, and uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes.
Of course, I'm back at my base. I can't even kill this guy because I used all my ammo again. Hey, buddy. There you go. Leave your corpse out of here. <laughs> Anyways, plastic is awesome. Uh, clearly, I have a bad bottleneck right here. I didn't realize I had even a bottleneck here, but uh, basically everything is actually too damn slow right now. So I have to fix that through my bottlenecks here. Uh, might as well, I mean, these were probably actually fine. The bottleneck was probably just right here in between. But you have to be careful of those because those are the bottlenecks that can really destroy your, uh, your production. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that should be good. Um, this has been going pretty good as well. Uh, this will probably slightly increase now. That's even running more. So we'll leave that for plastic for now. Is it enough? Eh, we'll see in the long run. Probably not. i probably using all this and more. How much were we uh, creating again? So we're making 50, 100 plastic a minute. So let's see how bad we're doing at our, uh, our other side over here. And then uh, let's see. And everything's going good here. What was this one for? I don't even know what half of my base makes anymore. Like, clearly this is iron. It does 120. It's actually overclocked, so it's not even using an MK2. MK1 miner. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's... It's doing its thing. So this is for the plates. And, oh, yeah, it makes the, these and the screws. And so this is, like, a, a big chunk of this is just one big-ass screw factory, honestly. And then it makes these uh, heavy plates, which does a great job anyways I keep up obviously for every demand I've needed right now but uh, very very easy well maybe not easy but one that I can definitely upscale and in fact there's a steel version of the screws if I recall did we pick that which would really 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 increase our uh, our, our speeds there so uh, that's something I can consider looking into let's check out what we have over here now I'm just kind of interested in the plastic use. It's 30. So even with all that, the plastic cannot keep up because it's got a huge demand for it. So that's going to hinder our progression. So that's something I'll have to fix up, honestly. Uh, but I wanted to try this out anyways. I want this damn huge manufacturer thing up and running. Uh, so what do I need? Missing. Plastic. Of course, plastic is always missing. <laughs> It's like even the damn machine requires plastic and we don't have it. Okay, where are we going to go here? We're going to go over here and let's actually get rid of some of these items. Uh, so look at that. Uh, that was nice. To, it's always nice to get, like, look at that, 26 of those. I might have even gone, uh, I, I did a little extra. That's why we were out of ammo when I came back because it was just like, eh, I'm not going to just leave it like this. I want to do a bit more, you know, so... Okay, so let's go over here and start working on this. That was the focus of this episode, but clearly uh, my, f uh, you know, this rifle and everything got me distracted. I would like to actually go around and do an exploration trip, like a longer one. It'd be like, you know, a couple episodes or it could be just one really big, long exploration trip, honestly. Um, that's kind of fun, like an uncut kind of raw uh, exploration is, I think, a fun thing to do. But anyways, here's the manufacturer. This thing is a freaking beast, and I think I would like to bring it over, like, right here kind of thing. Isn't this thing insane? Oh, it is beautiful. Now, imagine, uh, did we check this? How, I think we did check to see how, uh, there it is. So, how, what was the thing on this? Oh, yeah, 55. So, you put all these in here. Does it update right away? No. I bet you this thing would eat a ridiculous amount of resource, uh, power. Wait, can I not take those out? That was weird. I guess you can't double click them out. There you go. Anyway, so this can make 2.5 computers, which is very low. Uh, so it can take 10 circuit boards. So let's, honestly, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and bring our circuit boards in. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, increase their height. Actually, you know what? There we go. We'll do it that way. That way we're not messing around with this. Is there one closer here? Let's just do this one over here. 
So logistics, and there you go. I don't know if that's the same height to be honest, but it look at it there. Increases. It's actually a little higher, but that's fine. Um, so there you go. Already we have one of the components done. We got to get cable plastic. Ca plastic. I'm. You know what? I'm going to assume plastic will be one of the easier ones to get. By the way, wait. What? Do, what? Oh, you know what? I think the game was running for 24 hours. You remember last time it said the the server was uh, going to reboot? And I think that's what happened. It said, um, you know, it's going to reboot, blah, blah, blah. And I think it's a joke on that. And then the counter, like another 24 hours started. My save must have something ridiculous now. Like, uh, eight, oh my god, 82 hours. And I this can... Coronavirus is uh, giving me way too much free time for this kind of stuff. Um, I'm a full-time caregiver as well for my spouse and stuff, but I also do, like, I'm self-employed. I do some IT stuff, but I can't, like, go and do the IT stuff. I can't leave the house for that because of, you know, the virus and stuff. Um, so uh, it's just, it's interesting. So conveyor splitter, um, my, my spouse is high risk. I'm also at high risk, but... I'm like one of those guys who are like, I don't give a shit about myself. But it's not, you know, it's one of those viruses. It's not about yourself. It's, it's, um, you know, that's not the issue, right? It's about, you know, others, you know, and that's what you have to protect. So, you know, you have to be smart because it's, sure, you might be fine and you don't care, but it's the ones that you love you got to protect, you know. And, of course, I love myself enough that I don't want to die or be an idiot or, as well, right? There's a lot of uh, consequences uh, with this virus, clearly, but... Uh, Anyways, so screws. How am I going to do screws anymore? Uh, what is this here? It would be funny if this was iron, because that would make my life easier. <laughs> uh, that makes my life easier. Um, you know what? Let me clean this up and we'll be back. It'll be daytime then. Okay, I went a little crazy here. Um, first of all, I just want to let you know, there. You remember we have a better screw recipe? I didn't want to do this right now. I just didn't feel like it. But there is one that's using the steel beams to 52 screws. A pretty damn awesome uh, one. It does 260 per minute. It would be so much more compact, smaller, nicer, etc. Um, I didn't want to do that right now. I wanted to do the old-fashioned iron rod to screws. And so this is the bloody contraption I've come up with. And holy crap. Um... Uh, yeah, so this is all running on this. Not even running at full capacity, by the way. Um, not even close. But this is what I have basically running here. And yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun and pretty much the most... It's pretty insane. I mean, this is just like just doing it because why not kind of thing. Uh, so I'm interested in my power usage now and what it's going to be like. So you can see what our power usage roughly is here. Um, so I'll be interested to see how bad this spikes once this is all up and running if I've even done it right oh I don't even know if I done it right I wonder if it spiked to just turn on the machines Wait, how are you guys running without anything in there are you just you just run okay I don't see any red so at least we know those are uh, up and running okay let's do this so obviously there'll be a small spike for this but probably not even noticeable uh, the spike will be everything else, so... <laughs> uh, like I said, I probably went overboard on this uh, just a bit. And this is not even done evenly-ish, right? Things are going to be kind of half-cocked here. But, I mean, it'll it'll fill it up. Like, that's the thing, even if it's a little messed up, eventually one will get full and it'll start, you know, rebalancing itself. Look at all the green now, so... It, well, I see a bit of a yellow, so you can see the the unbalance there. What happens basically, till it gets filled up and loaded up a bit more. So that might take like you know ten minutes or whatever. But uh, either way, so you can see you know the the iron coming through here. So they're starting to turn them into the bars, of course. And then from the bars, it's going to be kind of similar. You can see how broken it is looking here. So it does kind of like the same idea. And then the screws, obviously, are going to come here. I did not bother. I mean, I could have, I guess, if I really wanted to. But I didn't bother attempting to uh, 
buffer the screws. I already have a buffer, screw buffer. And even in the end, this might even be taken down just because, well, this is a bit silly. Uh, the steel one is way better. But at the same time, it was a lot of fun. So, And then, yeah, I have it running over here. And then I just use this uh, to pick it up. So that way it'd be a little simpler to deal with. So, uh, yeah, that basically means we got everything but the other one. So, uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to see what the power usage is just for fun. Oddly enough, there's no power cables around here. See if it increased a bit. Yeah, it definitely increased it, but I don't even know. Was this like, you know. Oh, well. Um, we, we probably should have looked sooner than later. Ridiculous, huh? And the belts are already, of course, because it's not running, it's already overflowing. So there you guys have it. That's uh, That was kind of my idiotic idea, and I love it, and uh, that's what we have for now. Okay, so now we... Oh boy, that was a heck of a sneeze. Okay, so now what we want to do is run... Uh, the the regular cabling over here and we have a factory over here and I don't see a need to kind of redo it. it looks like we're already doing it from here but it's not the correct way which sucks because um, the correct way would be uh, running the proper thing from here to you know wherever I guess for now I can just piggyback off of here and we'll uh, we'll eventually do the correct way but like I said I think some things like we'll just end up doing like a whole I think the idea is we'll hit a certain objective, like getting you know a certain distance, you know, far, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna take it the extra mile, and then you know change everything from there, kind of thing. So, anyways, yeah, let's steal it from here, and then we obviously need to get it over here somewhere. I don't care how it does it, as long as it's not going into the screwing up things by going into the you know I hate when it goes into the boxes and stuff like that but like I said oh crap see this could, can work but the problem is it doesn't see a thing here so the only way if you want to if you want to do it that way the only way you're gonna get it that way is like go like this and then bring this up and then go over there and connect it to this and there you go Now is that going to crash into that? I think so. It's hard to tell. Actually, it looks like it's slightly higher than those two. That would make me happy. Yeah, it is. Okay, I like that. I'm a little happier now. Okay. And then we do the same idea. We're going to just do the elevator here like we've already done. And we can just do it like that. Make it even higher. Why not? We're having fun. And then there you go. And that, my friends, is that. Okay, so now what we can do, <laughs> oh my goodness, is we can do the industrial storage here. And we can do this. Have you come out of here. And then, yeah, now we just have to power this up, basically. Let's just take power from over here. I saw a power cable over here recently. There you go. And there we go. And there we have it. And our first computer should start going in there. Screws are not going in fast enough. Why is that? It takes a while to make each one, so that's not a big deal if the screws can keep up. They have to have 130 a minute. It should be more. Oh, yeah, they're going to keep up. That's awesome. Okay, you ready? Because we wanted to see what the power usage would be like. So we'll watch one more go. And then we wanted to see like how bad the power usage would be. I I'm expecting like full grid collapse here. <laughs> so you can see we're here right now. Okay, so what, what are we at right now? 55, which might be the highest running machine we've had so far. So this should be interesting. 238. Does that be beat all the records so far? I think it does. Oh, look how fast it goes now. And that, my friends, is awesome. 
And that's how you build yourself computers. Uh, obviously, you know, overclocking it that way, um, the other resources cannot keep up with it. Even pla well, There you go. Plastic is already shorted, so that can't keep up. Uh, you need 62 of these uh, a minute. That's definitely never going to keep up. The cables, you know, possibly. This right now, even with my setup, I don't think would uh, keep up. I'd have to increase it because I think I'm doing like 150 screws uh, to give you an idea. So, But that's five computers, which, hey, that can create a new transportation, which I always wanted to build. The truck. <gasps> we could do that. We need beacons, and I think we're going to do that. We might have to hand feed it some plastic though or something. <laughs> Cause remember it's fighting with the other machine that's kinda low, so Yeah, whatever. Um let's see here. Plastic, plastic, plastic. I grab some anyways. And then uh, what am I doing here? I was looking for beacons. So oh, yeah, I needed like ten of them, I think. There you go. And then I'll probably need some fuel. I can grab a couple here to put in this tractor. Do I have them? Yeah, yeah. What else did I need? A tractor, and then... Oh, I meant tractor, truck. What is the other thing? Oh, rubber. And 10 beacons. Didn't I just put 10 beacons in my inventory, or did I not put 10 beacons in my inventory? Oh, never mind. And yeah, I wanted rubber as well, so rubber is over here, actually. I think it said 50 rubber. No need to have extras, right? And then, yeah, so I just need uh, 10 computers, and we're done. And this apparently is supposed to be a bit faster, more ruggeded, double the inventory. Basically, it's a larger size of the other guy and meant to do a lot more, so. As we assumed. That was our, our fallback. I never actually did watch this, you know, affect everything, but uh, yeah, it definitely went up. <laughs> and there you go, my friends. We have 10 of them. So let's create this truck. So that's the size of the truck. The tractor is this kind of cute thing, and this is the truck. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely a bit bigger than what we're used to. Here's your... Oh, look at that inventory. That is sexy. So there's your inventory. You might need better fuel for this, honestly. But, uh, holy crap. And this is going to be faster? I mean, damn. I love this thing. Definitely faster. Did the other one get to 75? Maybe it's, I don't know, I feel like it is faster, but... Either way, it's it's badass, so... Okay. Oh, you know what I want to throw in? Um, do we have a... We could just take one from our... From the truck itself. So yeah, I want to go on a, like a bit of an exploration on this. Uh, the nice thing is you're inside the truck. You don't get... Well, I wonder if you get poison damage. I guess that's one thing we'll learn, right? But uh, I think this would be fun to go on an expedition. So let's take this apart like we never did anything. And I'm going to do even the most horrific thing ever. So we can watch the points we get, right? It's, uh, well, there's nothing coming in right now. Oh, here they go, coming in their burst. So, you know, it's pitiful, right? Here is what we're going to do. Um, this is horrifying that I'm thinking of doing this, but we're going to do it anyways. Oh, I want to see it happen. <laughs> that was amazing. You saw how fast that dropped, right? So down the road, like throwing something like the, the computers in there, it will spike like ridiculous amounts. And that's kind of the nice thing about it. Eventually, you know, when you high tech this stuff up and then you scale it and scale it and scale it, eventually you'll be building those computers like boom, boom, boom. And uh, that's kind of like the fun part of the game. And then you'll, you'll be getting as many coupons as you ever wanted in a sense. So anyways, I wanted to show you that. Look at that. hundred. <laughs> and that was only like the brief few seconds. If that's updated every, say, minute or 30 seconds even, you know, and that was five seconds of it, you know, it could be millions per minute. 
uh, just doing that, which I thought it was cool. So, yeah, unfortunately now I'm going to have to wait for more plastic, things like that. But I think it was well worth the, the loss. Uh, I think I do need to redo, like, the entire infrastructure over here. I think I'll do that off camera. I think we've played with this m many times. I think now it's going to be more like giving you tours of redoing certain things like this over time. You know, making it more efficient, making it better, whatever is needed to uh, get what we need. And, of course, we're going to use up more power, but also lose more power. Because what I'll do is I'm going to go and upgrade this, the, the refineries, which, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the pumps. Which, of course, yes, they're going to, that's going to eat up more power. But at the same time, I'm not going to overclock what I have over here. And the hope is basically, you know, everything kind of harmonizes. So anyways, it's something I want to work on and something I'm going to work on. And uh, either way, hopefully we'll get uh, this this uh, oil production and plastics and things like that running a lot smoother and faster and just keep going. So anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we will see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.